Welcome to Mama Cat's Home. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my faith planner. This is a Recollections faith planner and um, this is how last week turned out. I really like the fall and the, you know, I don't know, I just, something about the way that this is, it's just really cute. But this time, I, again, because I kind of messed up in October, I gave myself, like when I made the scripture writing plan, some of them were long. Like these were fine. All of these were fine. I didn't have to take up any space. But over here, I had to go into this one. Thankfully, that one was short. And then over here, I had to go into this one. And thankfully, that one was short. So that is how that ended up. Now, this new one that we're doing this time, it seems fine. Um, this is still the old one. And then this one actually is two different versions. And I know that I don't normally show you guys this. But this is actually two different versions that I just decided to do. And um, that's how that turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn to the page we're going to be doing today. And I did like the way that I did um, last week's layout. Because I didn't put the washi here. Because it's just like I said making the ditch there kind of. And it's making it harder to write on this side. This side is still super easy. But this side was making it harder to write. So I'm going to do a similar thing. But I'm thinking about, because, you know, I know it's still fall, but I don't know. Something in me wants to use this glitter. And I was thinking maybe I could use this as like a bottom washi and then put something above here. But I don't know what I would put above there. I've got to figure that out. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started with the sidebar. And, you know, this side will not be really done anything to because of the fact that it's just not um what am i doing it's just not gonna be something that needs to be done let's see did i even put in that we're having a book club no wait where am i at yes book club is this coming week hello i don't know what i was thinking we had church wednesday night and book club is this week i pulled out the wrong stickers that's fine though it's right here it's not a big deal i can put this back um i knew something didn't seem right because i knew we were having book club this week <laughs> uh, or this coming week not this week we're in right now let me get off of all that so um any of you guys who may want to join me in the scripture writing plan i do have it on my link tree down below and i also have it i have Hopefully, I will be able to keep up with this, but I plan on putting it on my Instagram, uh, posting my daily writings again like I was doing in the beginning. I'm trying to be uh, better at those types of things, but I have found myself to be someone who has a hard time keeping things going like that. It's like I'm writing them. I just don't always post about it i can keep my youtube videos going but for some reason instagram i'm just not um but i have been doing a little bit better i do like a daily thing in my stories and then my plan is to do the daily scripture writing in my stories and have a highlight for that you should have seen that by now if you haven't then Go check it out um but we're doing the fourth through the 10th of november i should have already told you guys that but you know i'm all everywhere and i just didn't but now i have we're doing that and i'm going to be using this happy planner girl faith warrior book and hopefully i will have a sticker that i can put there if not i do have other stickers that i can pull out or other sticker books that I can pull from and I'm almost positive I don't have one and if I do anything different that will be weird so maybe yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one the farmhouse book I seem to keep it on my um, desk lately I don't know why, but I just do. So I think I'll put 
See, all of this is like not really going to work if I use that other, except this one maybe. It says, behind you all your memories, before you all your dreams, around you all who love you, within you all you need. So I'm going to just use that one, and it's going to be the sticker that I use up top. Please ignore the fact that I am wearing a hoodie. It has gotten cold. Finally, thank God, I am so happy about it. It has finally gotten cool, <laughs> colder. Some people are saying it's freezing already, but it feels fabulous to me. I like cold weather. I don't know how I was born in Alabama. I don't know how I ended up being here because it is not my cup of tea, as they say. The weather isn't anyway. <laughs> because I like cold weather. I like it to be cooler than what it is. So, I'm going to grab one of these like I did last time. The prayers one. Oh, if I can pick it up. And I'm going to put that down right here. I really like the way that it turned out for the week we're currently in, which is this one. I like how that turned out. I like how that I did it because... I don't know it just worked I could have used one of these prayers one too but that's fine that was good um, let me see where those there they are which one do I want to use that's gonna look good with this type of thing that I'm trying to do I don't think any of them are gonna be the right co color I can't speak today I don't know something like a frog in my throat or something somebody needs to take the frogs and throw them away no I'm just joking we love frogs. I'll use this one. Let's see how this one works. And go from there. Did I do it all the way over last time? Nope, I did it just like this. That's what I thought. It is a little bit crooked. There we go. That's better. Still looks crooked on the end, but you know if it wasn't crooked it wouldn't be mine okay so now I'm gonna put one for my daily scripture writing but what I want to do I think I have some let me see if I have one with seven on it in this one, two three four five six no maybe I don't oh goodness I keep dropping it I just need seven lines one, two, three, four, five, six. Absolutely fabulous. And I could use that, and I know it was the green, but that's okay, I think. I can bring that in. Oh, wait, come back. And it's today's focus, which is today's uh, scripture writing is what it is going to be. But I don't mind that it says today's focus because that's, you know, that's the point of the scripture writing is to have that to focus on. But I'm not going to let that go all the way down just yet i'm gonna let it stick up a little bit and i'm also going to white out this a little because you can see it through the sticker and i'm gonna go ahead and just go for it with this and then i'll figure it out after i'll figure out the other part now the only thing with this washi I got it from Ally Express. The only thing is you cannot rip it. You have to cut it. So let me... Hopefully I'll get this. I should have gotten my big scissors so that I could get it a little more even. See, I got it a little crooked, but that's okay. Let me see. I'm going to put this down here. And I'm hoping that that's going to be the same amount... Then, I'm just gonna see. you know what let me grab the big scissor it'll be one snip and it's a lot less likely to be crooked look how crooked that is y'all I am so great oh I just thought about something would this be that is so crooked me talking about it's a lot like less likely to be crooked Psh, whatever don't believe me about everything I say because sometimes I'm wrong. 
I mean, you know, I don't lie on purpose or anything, but sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I can get away off the mark. Okay. I hope that this sticks on that glitter because I just thought about the fact that that's going to be on the glitter. Hey, it's working so far. So now I just need to cover this up. So let's see what I got. Oh, wrong book. Sorry. Pull this out and see what I've got going on here that I can put in those spots maybe. This one says do all the things and I could put this here to cover up that writing. I think that will work. Yes, I'm still going to be using my washi cutter. It's really not a washi cutter. It's really a pan scraper thingy. I actually have one in my kitchen that I use. <laughs> I probably should have put that one over here, but that's okay. Um, let me see. Since I did put in some of that green, it would be good if I had some of that left other than that one, but I don't. Um, I put this dark in. Oh, that says do all the things. So let's see if this one will work. This says happy thoughts. Put that one there. And then I'm going to put this focus on right above it. Focus on happy thoughts. And I know that kind of looks wonky, but that's okay. I'm alright with that. Um, I kind of want something else. Because, you know, I always do put stuff that, you know, goes into different places. Um, let me see. I'm tired of saying, um, why do I do that constantly and I drive myself crazy? Not really crazy. I'm already there. So, you know, life is just there. I think I want to use this one that says blessings. I really like that one. And I think it would work good here. Yes. I like that. And then I can use this one that says praises over here. Now, I don't know how well it's going to do on that glitter, but hopefully it'll stay. So, I'm going to put in my church sticker on Sunday. These are from Craft Penguin Planner. My hand looks atrocious, so like, just, you know, maybe you won't see that part much. Um, I'm going to put it up here on Sunday. And then Book Club is, oh, I don't have any more blue ones except the big one, but that's okay. I'm going to use it anyway. Uh, book club is Tuesday, which this week we're not doing like a reading I mean, or study or whatever you what is it called? We're not doing like a discussion about the book because we're not starting the new book. This is just our fellowship. We have a fellowship at the end of every book and um, which one time I messed up and we didn't. But we are supposed to have a fellowship at the end of every book. And that's what this one is for. And then the next week, we will start, or the next, we do it every two weeks. The next one, we're going to be starting this book, Because of Bethlehem by Max Lucado. And I've got notes in here for myself because, and I got my other planner. This is my planner that I use for all my book club stuff. Um, I've got all that stuff there. So let's get started with this. Hopefully that will stay down. We're going to be starting with the fourth, which is Ezra 310. Nope, sorry, Ezra 311. I looked at that wrong, right, and I said it wrong. Um, the next one is Psalms 1849. Now, this month is on thanks. And I got all of these scriptures from the King James Version. But if you're doing it from another version, it may not say the same exact thing. It may not have the word thanks in it. But it does have something that means that. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, yesterday, or uh, uh, Fridays, yesterday's, yeah. There, because today is Saturday. I haven't written today yet. 
Therefore, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations, and I will sing about your name. That is the Holman Standard Christian Bible. The King James Version says, Therefore, I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I will sing a praises unto thy name. So it's um, praise in one and thanks in the other. But I think they're interchangeable, you know? Okay, Psalms 34. I have also done something really crazy for this month you know how a little while back I was saying that I had overwhelmed myself with so many Bible studies and all these things I have actually signed up for two Bible studies and I wanted to do another and I actually have started more daily devotions but I feel like the reason why I did it this time of the year, people need to focus more. I, okay, that was Psalms 30, 12 and Psalms 35, 18. I didn't tell you guys. I'm sorry. Psalm 79, 13 is the next one. But I feel like this time of the year, people um, don't focus on God as much. And that is the whole purpose of this season. Thanks. You know, I know Thanksgiving is not about giving God thanks. But then you should be giving God thanks every day. But uh, the last one is Psalm 92, 1. But, um, it's like, this year people start thinking about the dinners and the presents and the gifts and the things and the stuff and the, it's so overwhelming and the going to the families and visiting loved ones and all that. And yes, all that is great, all that is good, but it also piles on a lot of stress on us. So, which, a few years back, my husband and I quite a while back we decided we were going to stay home for a holidays for thanksgiving for christmas for any holiday easter whatever we stay home with our kids because we were so tired of it being back and forth and running around and all this we wanted it to be about what it was about so we started staying home but I think I signed up for all of these things. I started doing all these things so I could keep my focus where it belongs, where it should be, instead of where it is or where it, you know, sometimes goes. And our focus should be Jesus. It should not be on gifts and eating and all of this or what we're going to take to the next dinner or celebration. Yes, celebrate. Yes, buy gifts if you can. Don't go into debt for it, but buy gifts if you can. Love on everyone that you can, but don't make it stressful. And so I did sign up for some studies this for the next little while. And hopefully I won't get myself overwhelmed if I do. Like I've done before, I'll just stop and I will do the one. And then I will just keep on going with the others later. I don't know if any of this made sense but pretty much the whole thing is with all of this stuff that I do with the Bible the scripture writing praying with reading my Bible period with doing Bible studies is to get closer to the Lord and to help me focus on what is really important so that I can focus on other things that are important because whenever I'm focusing on God I can focus on my husband and children in a meaningful manner instead of being overwhelmed and I see things differently and I'm not as stressed and my anxiety is not quite as bad I do still deal with it but this is how it is but anyway that is all I have for today I hope you enjoyed this crazy video I just wanted to do a little wintry stuff I think it's because it is getting a little cooler and I'm so happy about it so I just wanted to do that instead of fall this time next week it may be fall again who knows I may throw in spring we don't ever know what Kathy is going to do in her planners because she just does whatever <laughs> so that is all again make sure you subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell if you haven't also, leave me a comment down below. What do you love about the month of November? What do you love about um, Thanksgiving dinner, maybe, or something? Because, I don't know. What um, scriptures have you found help you through this season? And, uh, yeah, just talk to me in the comments, and i talk back. And I will see you guys next time. Remember, don't take any wooden nickels, and be sweet.